Hey everyone, Drew Wilson here. I'm working on a website for my buddy Garrett Marks and I uh, just wanted to show you um, this little carousel thing I did in case uh, any of you want to know how to build your own carousel super quickly like this. You, know, you can go in between any of them. Blah 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 blah, super simple. Um, so I'm going to show you that right now. So basically uh, I'll pull in the HTML here. So our carousel div is right here, and inside of it we have the latest work title, the navigation, which are the little circles, and then I have this inner div, which holds the carousel, and inside of there is just a, an unordered list, and uh, inside the, uh, each list item is a, is a link with an image and some text in there. So as you can see here, this is one of these list items with uh, some text and image in there. Um, so what you do is you set it up so that way each image or each list item is stacked left to right. So you can't see it, but right here bleeding way off the page is another one. Um, so like if I inspect this and I'll hover over the next one, you can kind of see there it is. See so here's this one and the next one. And it just keeps going to the right off the page. So basically you stack them right next to each other, floating into the left. So the way you do that is uh, you're going to want to float each one of these LI items to the left. So what you do that is you come in here to your carousel and each uh, LI item you float it to the left and boom, they're butted up against each other. The way that you can make this work, um, I only have three right here, like three slides, and each slide is a thousand pixels wide so I know that my total length is three thousand pixels. If you're going to have a dynamic amount, you can just use some JavaScript to determine the length, but um, since I know it, I can hard code it into the uh, UL element saying that, hey, this, this whole thing is going to be 3,000 pixels wide because there's three of them. And the inner, this is the thing that contains it. And I'm setting that to 1,000 pixels wide, so essentially one slide, the size of one slide, and I'm hiding what's overflowing. So that's why you don't see these other ones over here. Um, but I have the whole thing set up as one long strip that's 3,000 pixels wide. And so when I animate left and right, it's just sliding this UL element here to the left and right, which looks like this. So this guy right here, this UL is uh, 3,000 pixels wide. Its parent is only 1,000 pixels wide. And when I click one of those buttons, it's just sliding this thing to the left and right, you know, revealing whichever one. Now this is set up to be somewhat dynamic. Um, the only thing that's not dy dynamic is the uh, total size, which I don't need to do that, so I didn't. But this is a JavaScript. This is all it takes. As a matter of fact, it only takes this much to do the carousel. This is just changing the classes. So the class change that is highlighted right here, that's changing these little guys when you uh, click on them, making them be solid versus empty. So all that's doing is when you click, it removes the active class and then it adds the active class. Uh, in CSS, I have the active class to be like filled in, basically. So for the carousel code right here, all I'm doing is I'm getting the index of the current um, uh, link that I'm clicking on. So this is one, two, and three essentially. Uh, so if I click on two, you know, that's index two. This is index three, and this is index one. Um, and so what I do is I multiply, well, I don't need this console.log in here. So actually it's only two lines of code. Um, so what I do is I multiply the index. So if I were to click on this one, it would be two times a thousand. So that would give me 2,000. And I just animate the margin left, you know, because I'm, I'm sliding to the left, I give it a negative there. And so when I click on 2, it will animate it 2,000 pixels to the left. When I click on 3, it'll do 3,000. If I click on the first one, it'll do, uh, it'll do, it'll go back here to the beginning. So that's all the code, and there is a carousel. I'm not including any libraries other than jQuery itself, and this is literally the only JavaScript code loaded on the page. So you can build a carousel in two lines of code um, if you wanted to add these little guys up here. Uh, it's another two lines of code. But um, yeah, pretty simple. I uh, thought you might enjoy it. And I'm also just having fun with my app Screeny. So if you want to download Screeny, you can go to ScreenyApp.com. Boom. This is what I'm using to record right now. All right, guys. Later.